guys, cosplay tag. Woo. Um, okay, so technically I wasn't tagged, but the reason why I'm doing this is because um, my friend, uh, I need to tag her because she has nothing on her YouTube channel and she really needs something on there. So I'm just going to do this so that I can tag her and that she can actually have something on the channel. So let's start. Um, so you introduce yourself. I am Michi Chan for on everything for DeviantArt, on Coscom, on YouTube. Although there's like several other Michi Chans, reason for the XX Michi Chan XX. Yeah, so, um, but a lot of people just call me Michi. It's uh, actually just from my name, Nichol. It's a lot of people say Nicole, but it's N I C H, and I pronounce the H so people know how to spell it right. So let's see. Next question: How did you get into cosplay? Um, well, my friend actually forced me into a really baggy white uh, shirt and baggy jeans and eyeliner. Guess who that was? L. And uh, it was for a uh, Sack Anime, my first convention. Um. I know I didn't need to cosplay or anything like that, but, uh, and I didn't even really plan to. She's just like, oh, I'm gonna go as Misa, you should go as Elle, so. And then later on, I got into it when I was looking more of it online, and I just fell in love with it, because I just thought it was so amazing. Um, so, then, next question, number three. How long have you been cosplaying? Well, um, I guess I kind of started then, which was uh, th uh, three years ago, but it, I not, haven't been actually cosplaying three years ago. It was actually last year where I actually started getting into it and planning, and it was um, actually like uh, around my la last sack anime, which was January, no, was it dog? No, it was January. Um, so I haven't been cosplaying for that long, so I'm not expert or anything like that, and so I, I still consider myself a newbie. Um, how many cosplays have you done? Um, I have no idea. Uh, I should, probably should have thought of this before I decided to do this. Um, okay, there's Honey, Reborn, uh, Fran, um, Sora, Halloween Town Sora, but nobody saw that and it was horrible. Um, I have no idea. Some, somewhere below 10, around there. Um, let's see, what's the next one? I want to keep this short and sweet, so... Uh, how do you get your costumes? Uh, I started uh, buying them on eBay, like I bought my Sora cosplay and my Honey cosplay, except for it was just basically a blue jacket and the tie. Um, but now I'm trying to learn how to sew, and my friends uh, do commissions, and they help me uh, sew and stuff like that. And so I'm trying to actually do handmade cosplay. And my first one that I actually finished, I'm very excited, and a lot of people will see that on my DeviantArt if anybody follows me on there. Um, let's see. Five. What is your first cosplay? Why did you choose it? And how do you feel about it? Um, technically my first cosplay was back in, uh, fourth grade, I think. I was, um, the Magician of Faith from Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know why, I just liked it, because I was watching it on Yu-Gi-Oh! and the one when they picked the cards, so I was like, oh, I love this, that would be this for Halloween! And I made the whole staff, and my grandma made the outfit. It was really awesome, and I won a prize and everything. But um, I guess my first actual cosplay that I knew that I was cosplaying was uh, I think um, I think yeah, it was just L. But the one I actually like worked on was probably Halloween Town Sora. But that was utter failure. It was all glued together and crap, and horrible. It's up shoved up in my closet, like disintegrating. Um, let's see, uh, oh yeah, how do I feel about it? I felt great about it, the, not the Halloween Town Store, the Magician Fake, because I thought it was really fun. Um, what is your favorite cosplay and why? Uh, 
I really like being Fran mainly because like I made the hat and I altered it and actually came out looking good and it's always a cosplay that I could just whip out and be all like yeah I'm Fran because Fran's my favorite co character. He's like totally stoner in the manga and a total brat in the anime. I love it. Um, I also like being Seal and I'm doing a lot of different cosplays for him so I really like being the brat and boss around like my Sebastian and my Lizzie, which is really funny. Um, uh, and I think that this is my favorite. My next one probably will be my favorite Teto vocaloid. That's actually what this wig is from. Oh yeah, on the thing it says to wear wig for your next cosplay. Um, and I love this wig because it makes me feel like I have long hair again and I miss having long hair. Oh yeah, okay, so ADD child, yes. Um, uh, favorite cosplay, what is your favorite thing about cosplay? Um, probably meeting people at conventions and making new friends. Uh, the feeling of actually getting something done. It's really cool and I'm all like, yay, and I feel so good about myself. Um, yeah, that's probably my favorite thing and, uh, uh, especially like whenever my friends ask like, oh, what is this that you're doing? It's really cool to actually share what your hobby is. And it's, it's actually really fun. Um, gotta cosplay pet peeves. Pet peeves. Uh, mainly wigs. Um, whenever I see like a really, really bad wig when you know, when you know that like the person could totally like done more with it and like, or they just haven't done anything at all. It's like ridiculous and oh my god, it makes me so mad, but um, it's not that bad. Like I'm not going to go up to you and say, oh my god, you suck, just leave. I mean, because a lot of people have the reasons. Like I went to Fanime with no seal wig because I had, because it didn't come on time, so I had my natural hair and then clip-ons for a uh, gel paint seal. And yeah, I, I didn't really like it that much, but um, yeah, that was about it. Uh, also, I guess just like the people who think they're better than everyone else, I guess. It's, I mean, cosplaying is for fun. It's like, chill out, dudes. Um, let's see, tell me about your most recent cosplay. My most recent one is for upcoming con, uh, con, upcoming con, Kenyobi. Uh, it's Outlets in Wonderland, Kurtis Suji. Yeah. Seal in Wonderland. Um, it's my first one that I actually sewn, so I'm very proud of it. And so yeah, that's gonna be up on DeviantArt soon because there's just a few more details with buttons and stuff, and it's gonna be up. Yes. And then uh, Vocaloid Teto. Uh, and I have a few more others. Um, I have a few other seals. One for Sack Anime, which is gonna be um, Party Seal, which is the one from. Uh, episode 3, and Kissing Skull Sill, which is probably going to be for Halloween, which is going to be fun. I have a lot of other ones that I have in mind, especially since I'm getting into more anime and stuff like that, and it's like, oh, I want to do this and this, and I gotta stop myself. Um, uh, those are the m ones that are actually coming up, along with uh, Marjorie from South Park, it, the, if anyone remembers the episode where Butters cross dresses. Yeah, and I have a few other South Park cosplays at, it, up in mind. I I like South Park cosplay, it's really fun. Because you can like cuss obscenely and nobody will say anything, which is awesome! Even though I never cuss, which is kind of out of character for me, but whatever, it's fun. So anyways, that's the end! Um, let's see, da da da. That's it, so um, I cosplay to home, I, I, no I don't cosplay. I tag Tomi because she needs something on her YouTube channel. Yes, you do, Tomi. So I did this for you. Um, if anyone else wants to do it, I'll probably post the rules on the thing. The thing I don't know which way it is. If it's that way, but I'm not sure. Um, so if anyone wants to do it, just go ahead. It's fun. Yeah. So I'm off to style this wig, so wish me luck.